Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 28. Today we're going to be talking about abstract classes. So what is an abstract class? Well sometimes we might have a uh, class here uh, like for pet. Just say we're making a game. Um, obviously you know if you know it's game, game Boy or whatever and I guess I'm showing my age there uh, and you know you go to buy a pet you're not actually going to buy a pet you're going to buy a dog or you're a cat or a horse or, or whatever. Um, so what we might want to do is say you know what we're going to give you like the blueprint of this class but you have to implement you know implement it in your own way and we can do that by creating a class abstract and it'll become more clear once we uh, we go through this lesson so with in regard to the lesson uh, I've just taken the code from level uh, lesson 26 and 27 and copied it here. So if you're unfamiliar with any of this stuff does, please review the previous lessons. So let's just jump right down to this uh, virtual method and remember virtual is for uh, to designate as polymorphic. We're going to go ahead and change this to abstract. And what abstract does is says, you know what, um, ba uh, pa uh, child class, you have to implement your own talk. So if that's the case, you know, they're never able to use the, uh, you know, base talk which is here. Um, so we, we're just going to delete that because that doesn't make any sense. And if we don't, we'll get an error. And now because we say, you know what, this is a, uh, an abstract method, meaning you have to, you know, the child class has to implement it. This, we're implicitly saying, you know what, the whole thing is abstract. So let's go ahead and say abstract. Okay. And that'll fix that. And now we're getting, um, Okay, two errors. Uh, base talk. Okay, again, remember the whole point of this was saying, you know what, we're going to create a boot blueprint. Um, you have to create your own talk. So let's go and just make it easy on ourselves. We'll go to the um, cat talk method and replace this. And we'll just say they. Let's see, there we go. Woof. Okay, so now that's all taken care of. We're not calling the base anymore. Again, that's kind of like only a blueprint. You can't actually use it. It's abstract. And we're getting one error done here. And this actually was an oversight by me in the last lesson. I didn't realize this was a pet type, but it actually works out in our favor. And this lesson, right now, we're, we, I mean, and here we're creating a new pet. Now that that's an abstract class, we're unable to um, you know, to instantiate an object of type pet, we have to use the subclasses. So we'll make this a dog, and we'll do true. And then if we go ahead and run this, my name is Panda, my name is Pud, my name is Panda, my name is Blue. That's okay, Panda, Pud, Panda, Blue, Corduroy, Pud. So, uh, and again, remember this is polymorphic because even though and that's a good thing to point out. We're actually still using the uh, pet array of type pet, okay, but we're not creating any objects of type pet, and we're still treating these polymorphically uh, because even though this is a pet array, these are dogs and cats, and, and when we call talk, it's, it's implementing it in its own way. So that's what abstraction or um, abstract classes are all about. It's basically saying we're going to create a blueprint, but you must, you know, it would make sense for you and you must implement your own, you know, method X, Y, or Z, and in this case, it's talk. So hopefully you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, if you have any questions, please go to Next Star TV and join our community and ask on there, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next lesson. Thanks, guys.